Catch up with people I haven't seen for ages. Uh, I get to put the glad rags on, uh, present an award. What could be better? I occasionally cycle down this street on my way to, uh, on my way home, and it's never looked quite as glamorous as this. So. The film industry's biggest and brightest stars are here, all hoping to get their hands on the coveted BAFTA mask. First of all, you're voted for by your peers, and so it's really special if you get something. Obviously, the children love Paddington. You know, obviously, uh, you know, that was a special one for them. The wait is almost over. The awards are about to begin. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the British Academy Film Awards. While we take a look back at a wonderful year in film, please make some noise for British rock giant Kasabian.
very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't waste your sweet, generous applause on me. Spend it with knobs on for the Amazian Kasabian. <laughs> so, good evening, my lords, dames, ladies, gentlemen. And a very good evening, of course, to everyone watching at home. You're all so welcome to British film's biggest night since, since this time last year. It's the EE e. British Academy Film Awards, that most glorious of occasions when the heavens open and the great and the good of the industry rain down upon us, soaking us with their brilliance, drenching us with their magnificence and showering us with their genius. I mean, it may for once incredibly and miraculously be unexpectedly dry outside, but here <laughs> it's simply pissing down with stars. <laughs> um, and as I look out over the puddle of preeminence, wondering if I'm stretching the metaphor a bit too far. I, I gawp, ladies and gentlemen, I positively gawp, a, an act I usually reserve for newborn foals and certain photos of James McAvoy that I acquired from iCloud. <laughs> but if I might be serious for just a moment, I know it's been a very tough year for many of you, what with the shock of both George Clooney and me being removed from the matrimonial market. <laughs> Um, but it's apparent that as a result of this, you've been more than, more than able to make up for your amorous sorrow and erotic disappointment by simply hurling yourselves into your work, the utterly sensational work that we are so, so pleased to gather here to celebrate. You've covered every subject from those aforementioned building blocks to literally the theory of everything, in its own way about building blocks too, though this time the building blocks of the universe itself. And the star of that unforgettable story is here tonight. Gorgeous to see you, Professor Redmayne. I trust the evening will end for you as it all began, with a big bang. Um, no, not that sort of big bang. Ladies and gentlemen, pull yourself together. Um, of course, The Theory of Everything is just one of the five films nominated for this year's Best Film Award, which, using one of that movie's uh, complex mathematical formulae, means, if my calculations are correct, that there are... Four others. <laughs> we have the bold and breathtaking The Imitation Game, starring the equally breathtaking Kira Knightley, and of course Benedict Cumberbatch. It's breathtaking just to say his name. Uh, <laughs> which, interestingly, his name, if you pass it through an Enigma machine, decodes as red hot public school totty. <laughs> um, it's. No, <laughs> it's. It's a remarkable film. Uh, which, amongst other things, shines a light on how difficult it was to be a gay man in the 50s. Although, I find it quite easy. Oh, the 1950s, I see, yes. No, well, that is true. Um, uh, as the film shows, 60 years ago, gay men were prosecuted for being gay, uh, whereas today they can get married. So who knows where things will be in the next 60 years? Maybe even Hollywood's gay leading men will be able to come... No, that's, uh, that's aiming too high. Um, now, we have the star of Grand Budapest Hotel. The Grand Budapest Hotel couldn't be with us tonight. Uh, it's a building that would be silly. Pull yourself together, BAFTA audience. Um, but you'll be thrilled to know we do have with us its concierge, the effulgent Rafe Fiennes, who, unlike the hotel, is always fully booked. Of course, the film is set in the fictional East European country of Zubrovka, a place so believable that Vladimir Putin has deployed a fictional army on its borders <laughs> um, and also fictionally denied that he's done that. <laughs> and unless my eyes are cruelly deceiving me, uh, we are also blessed by Boyhood's L.R. Coltrane, Rosanna Arquette and Ethan Hawke. Uh, I'm sorry if I don't want to offend anyone if I say this, but I found Boyhood awkward, uh, extremely drawn out, embarrassing and messy. The film, on the other hand, I thought was utterly compelling, groundbreaking, a, a labour of love. It took 12 years to make, um, unlike the prequel, which has been provisionally entitled Conception, and will take about five seconds to make. Um, we have the stars of the brilliantly inventive and hilarious Birdman with us, Michael Keaton and uh, Edward Norton. Now, gentlemen, <laughs> I'm really going to put you on the spot. We have a tradition here at BAFTA of asking very esteemed members of the audience to blow a kiss to camera. But this year, we've decided, well, I've decided, um, 
that I'm going to ask them to kiss me. So I'm, um, <laughs> would you mind? Do you, are you on for this? Uh, that's really... I'll come down. I've uh, seen... Uh, I know what Ed Norton does on stage, so I don't want him up here, if that's all right. Um, so I'm just going to come... To, oh, you're so kind. And Ed, would you mind? This is wonderful of you. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, Tony Centello. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. I'm the one flying above the cityscape now. You've made uh, one married man very happy <laughs> and uh, another one rather jealous. <laughs> now, also with us this evening, two of the stars of Paddington are here, the divine Sally Hawkins and Julie Walters. I went to see Paddington Bear. Uh, in all honesty, I probably should have seen it with my clothes on, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, even if the people sitting around me seemed a bit distracted. Uh, <laughs> And settle me up, flay me senseless, and call me Chantel, if it isn't Gone Girl star, the creamily edible Rosamund Pike. Um, <laughs> yeah. Would it be a spoiler? Would it be a spoiler for me to say that you were chillingly, frighteningly good in this film, Ros? Uh, I'd probably go and give it away. I'll take it all back. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, she was appalling, simply dreadful, hopeless, <laughs> uh, absolute arsewash. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's any better, really. Anyway, uh, let's begin. It's what we are all here for. Uh, and let's begin, as we traditionally do, with the first award, which is for Outstanding British Film, given in honour of Alexander Corder. To make the presentation an outstanding Brit, not a film star, but so loved and adored that he has a hit film and now a musical named in honour of his prodigious talent. We now dock at the port of special visual effects and to present the award, who else could we choose but the mind-blowing genius who is the subject of the film The Theory of Everything and one of its remarkable stars. Please give an astronomical welcome to Felicity Jones and Professor Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Goodness me. <laughs> um, good evening. It's wonderful to be here this evening, and I am particularly pleased to be presenting this award with the only person on the planet more intelligent than Stephen Fry. <laughs> yes, and better looking. <laughs> The nominations for special visual effects are... What's the mess of what happens? Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Oh, hey, hey. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Interstellar. X-Men Days of Future Past. The Hobbit, The Battle of the Five Armies. Guardians of the Galaxy.
and the, the BAFTA is awarded to. Here we go. Interstellar. Thank you. This is uh, quite amazing. It's uh, fantastic to be here in this amazing celebration of filmmaking here at uh, BAFTA tonight. I uh, want to thank our fearless leaders, Christopher Nolan and Emma Thomas, for basically letting us go crazy on uh, some of the most extraordinary imagery I've ever been involved with. Uh, for, to Professor Kip Thorne for telling us how to do it and blowing our minds at the same time. Uh, to Warner Brothers and Paramount, to my producers, Anne Pod Losney and Kevin Elam, to um, all our teams at Double Negative, New Deal Studios, our special effects team in the United States, and of course, to my amazing, beautiful wife for putting up with me disappearing into the fifth dimension for a year and a half, uh, to our sons, Ivo and Seth, and to my daughter, Freya, the magic bracelet worked. Thank you. <laughs> And the BAFTA goes to the theory of everything. James Marsh, Tim Bevan, Eric Fellner, Lisa Bruce, and Anthony McCartan. Okay, so we've got to be quick. Um, uh, on behalf of all of us on the stage here, um, we want to thank the uh, Academy for all the members of the Academy for voting for us. It's, I mean, in a year of amazing British films, this is a fantastic privilege, so thank you. Um, we also want to thank everybody involved in every aspect of making this film, from the development, production, financing, marketing, distribution, everybody. It's been an incredible, incredible ride. Um, but without a great story, there is no film. And our main thanks and heartfelt thanks goes out to Stephen, Jane, Lucy, Tim, Robert, um, Jonathan, and everybody whose lives are depicted in this story. And without their incredible life, there would be no movie. So thank you to all of them. We hope you feel we've done you proud. Thank you. <laughs> That was really superb. Um, and Thank you. Uh, we now come to the award for supporting actor and to present it an exquisite artist who won a BAFTA for her performance in Walk the Line, is nominated for a BAFTA this evening uh, for Walking in a Line, um, and will walk here after I've said this line. It's Reese Witherspoon. <laughs> That was very funny. <laughs> when I look at the five incredibly talented men in this category, it brings home just how vital the role of supporting actor truly is. Their contribution really cannot be underestimated. Let's take a look at the nominees. Steve Carell, Foxcatcher. Do you have any idea why I should come here today? No. No. Well, Mark, do you, do you have any idea who I am? 
Edward Norton, Birdman. You know, a douchebag born every minute. That was Keith Farm premise when he invented the circus, and nothing much has changed. And you guys know that if you crank out any toxic piece of crap, people will line up and pay to see it. But long after you're gone, I'm gonna be on that stage, earning my living, bearing my soul, wrestling with complex human emotions. That's what we do. It's here for the father! Ethan Hawke, Boyhood. It was a unicorn, and the horn broke off, so now it's a zebra, okay? But I still think I'm gonna get an egg. Mason, uh, how was your week? Well, Dad, you know, it's kind of tough. Joe, he's kind of a jerk. Actually, he stole some cigarettes from his mom. He wanted me to smoke them, but I said no, because I knew what a hard time you had quitting smoking, Dad. Mark Ruffalo, Foxcatcher. He's going to for me. Say it again. John DuPont is a mentor to me. J.K. Simmons, Whiplash. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, was I rushing or was I dragging? I don't know. Count again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rushing or dragging? Rushing. So you do know the difference. And the BAFTA is awarded to J.K. Simmons for Whiplash. Thank you to the British Academy. Um, and at the risk of being repetitious, thank you to Damien Chazelle for the gift of this character to me and for the gift of this movie to the world. Thank you to Miles Teller for always being present in the moment. Well, except he's not present tonight, I guess, but <laughs> <laughs> up until now. Um, Thank you to Helen Estabrook and Cooper Samuelson for getting us through the days. Thank you to Jason Reitman for everything, always. Uh, thank you to Jason Blum, everybody at Blumhouse, and uh, to Gary Walters and everybody at Bold. Uh, this whole experience has been a gift to me. Thank you, most importantly, to the center of my life, my brilliant wife, Michelle. Thank you for so many gifts. Uh, not the least of which, of course, would be our two above-average children. <laughs> I love you guys, uh, infinity. And thank you, Mom and Dad. Can I give you that? Thank you so much. Congratulations, J.K. Simmons. We now